Hi everybody. I just got a package in the mail and I thought it would be fun if I showed you what's in it. And to be honest, I actually don't really know. So I ordered from Glasshouse Works, which is a company that I used before. Um, I last ordered a few years ago and I was really happy with the quality of the plants. Looks like it was shipped from Ohio. Um, and this time I ordered a collection of five Hoya Carnosa cuttings. And um, you know, it wasn't listed what kind they were. So I figured I would take a chance. I think for the five, it was um, 20 or $25. The shipping was $20 too. And there's also a begonia in here, although I forget what kind. So um, I thought that I would just open it with you and we can see what I got together. So um, this was delivered just now. I almost couldn't wait, but I did open the box I started to open one and then I thought it would be fun to make a video. So this is the one I started to open. And it, they're just wrapped in moist uh, newspaper. The box was pretty full so it doesn't look like there's a lot of movement. Um, there's a little bit of dirt on the leaves here. Um, the cutting's a little loose in the in the nursery pot, but um, overall the cutting looks pretty healthy and it is rooted too. So this one, if you can't tell, um, I knew what this was as soon as I saw it, but this is a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. I actually have several of these, but they're such beautiful plants that I'll happily take another one. Um, so, you know, again, it's, you know, it's a little dirty, which I guess you can expect. There was some um, shredded newspaper sort of gathered around the bottom here to hold it in place. Um, but I think the cutting looks pretty healthy and I can clean it up a little bit too. So that's one. And then, let's see. So I think there's six plants in here total. Oh. <clears throat> so there's dirt spilling out of this one. Wrapped the same way with some moist newspaper. And so this one, it looks like, is another rooted cutting. I don't know what this is. Well, there is a tag. So, Macantha. <clears throat> There's a slug. So, I don't know if you can see that. I have not heard of this Hoya before. Looks like the leaves are, um, they're very thick and sturdy. A little irregular shaped. I gotta get that slug out of here. Um, but yeah, I'll have to look this one up. There's no variegation or splash, or maybe a tiny bit of splash here. The cutting looks pretty healthy though, but I just haven't heard of that um, type of Hoya. But that's why I did this. So now the box is full of dirt. To be careful which way I open them. So again, wrapped the same way. The other thing I'll say is it's been a little um, cold here. So I was really, the shipping was pretty fast. I think it was shipped on the 20th and today is the 24th. So of course the weekend. Um, I think this is a Retusa. Cool. But um, yeah, I was a little worried because it has been cold at night. But you know, again, I just figured I would take the chance because if not now, you know, I'd have to wait till January and, you know, it's not a good idea either. So, but they all seem to be pretty good. They don't, there was no heat pack in here. I didn't ask for one. I actually don't know if that was an option. Yeah, so this is a Retusa. So, I've had one of these before and um, I killed it. I think this was actually one of the first Hoyas that I bought. And I just didn't really understand the care. I think I overwatered it. Um, it was in a dark corner, believe it or not. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. So um, I remember when it finally died, I said good riddance. And that was before I sort of became obsessed with Hoya. So it's kind of nice to see this one again. You know, it looks pretty healthy. Um, you know, I don't quite understand how these grow, but it's definitely rooted. You know, the growth here does look good. Um, no peduncles, but I didn't expect that. So that was kind of a surprise. I, was, I wasn't expecting that one. And I'll be honest, I don't know if that's considered a Carnosa type. I don't think that it is. But what I purchased was a Carnosa cutting bundle. So 
But, um, you know, I'll take any Hoya that I don't already have or even some that I do already have. So, take these out. Try not to get dirt everywhere. I wonder if this one is just a plain green carnosa. Pink carnosa. Hmm. I wonder if that just refers to the flowers. So again, um, this one I think is rooted. Just a plain green carnosa, which believe it or not, I actually don't have. Um, all of my carnosas, well, except for the Chelsea, are... Um, variegated in some way. So this one has like a tiny bit of splash on it here. Um, you know, I was actually thinking about purchasing one of these because sometimes I just like plain green plants. Variegation is great, but um, sometimes you just want something a little more basic, I guess. So uh, this one I'm pretty happy with. I, I was expecting this in there. I figured in a Carnosa pack, I'd probably just get a plain Carnosa. So that one I'm, I'm happy to see. It looks healthy. And to keep the dirt in the box. Oh, this is the begonia. So I just bought one begonia. They didn't really have very many in stock. Um, this one looks all right. I mean, there's a little bit of damage to some of the leaves, which, you know, a lot of times you can expect that when you have plants mailed to you. There is some new growth here at the bottom. So this is a begonia. Oh God, Morpha? I forget which one I bought. I'll put the name down below when I figure it out. But it does, you know, it's a reddish, pinkish um, begonia. But there is some healthy looking new growth at the bottom. So I bet that this is one that I can baby. And, you know, I might lose these leaves here, but I bet the new growth at the bottom will, um, will look pretty healthy, not too long. So I like begonias because I've killed a few. I don't know if they've gone dormant or just gone dry, but they've bounced back and the new growth is really beautiful. So these plants I tend to keep um, moister than my other plants and they do like you know a moderate amount of, of light at, at the least. I would never put them in direct light. I think they would burn, but they do like bright light. So um, I find begonias pretty easy to take care of. And you know, this one looks a little ratty, which I was kind of expecting. I think it was only a couple of bucks or something. Um, but their new growth is like really incredible. So, and the leaves are so beautiful. There are so many different kinds. So I find them to be really rewarding plants. So there should be one more Hoya in here. I wonder what kind it is. It is upside down, covered in dirt. So this is just another, this is listed as a Hoya Pink Silver. So I'm going to guess it's a Hoya Carnosa Pink Silver. Um, so I don't quite understand the difference of, you know, the pink versus the silver versus the pink silver. Um, but again, so the leaves are pretty green, but this one has a lot more splash. And so just compare this one, which, you know, the leaves are a little bit thicker and darker, and actually there's a little bit of veining on them, to this one, and the leaves are a brighter green, and there's more splash there. Um, this is actually a pretty long cutting too, so, and it is rooted, uh, so, but it looks pretty healthy. There's really no damage on any of the leaves. Um, there's new growth coming in, so that's what I got. So I guess, you know, so the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen is one of my favorites. The Hoya, I guess, Carnosa Macantha. I don't know what that is. I'll have to find out a little bit more about it. A pink Carnosa, a pink silver Carnosa, and then the Retusa. So I guess in the cutting pack, they vary it a little bit. And, um, you know, whatever cuttings they have that are ready to sell, uh, they'll put in this variety pack. So I kind of like the idea of being a little surprised. 
you know, I mean, these probably aren't super rare or anything, but, you know, they're pretty plants. Um, believe it or not, where I am, you can't find a plain green carnosa anywhere. Um, and sometimes you can find the Crimson Queen. So anyways, and then the Retusa, you certainly can't buy it in person. Um, you can, I'm sure, buy it online. I don't know how much they run for, but so I'm pretty happy with my little haul here. Um, again, you know, it was 20 bucks for the pack. I think it was six or something for the begonia, and then the shipping was twenty dollars. So, but I liked the idea of being a little surprised. So, um, let me know what you think, or if you have any tips on any of these. I'm probably just going to keep them in their nursery pots for a bit longer, um, you know, to let them get over the shipping stress, and then eventually I'll find new homes for them. So they'll probably go under my grow lights. All right. Thanks for watching.